Welcome back everybody, Cap Thief Against the Storm, this time no air conditioner, I apologize for that, I just, I'm trying to single out what the issue could have been, and I think I have it figured out, this is actually a pretty big deal to me, because it kind of felt like when my computer started crashing that I would never be able to record again, but hey, you know, ever since that episode 3, which may or may not happen, well, no, it's, it's going to happen, I'm definitely going to edit that, I haven't edited it yet, by the way. Ever since then, I've actually felt a lot better about how I'm recording on this computer. I had a, a lot of games on here that are actually more high-end that my laptop just can't even really do. So th this is this is good news for me. So here's the hard part: is we are starting to get into real settlements now, and that means that we get randomly selected blueprints and cornerstones, <laughs> and so it kind of it's kind of like putting a a puzzle together but the picture is rapidly shape, uh, changing and we're trying to get the best picture we can so it's like some weird combination of a jigsaw puzzle and Pokemon snap I mean it's not like you know how the settlement goes is how many points I get though that does come into account it's really more like I need this thing to work and I don't need a picture of just a Snorlax butt or something alright so what do we want? Uh, I'm, I'm kind of tempted by the leather worker because I don't really know how that works, but um, I'm thinking we'll probably just do bakery for, you know, biscuits, pie, and pottery because pottery might be important. We don't really... <sighs> Coats are always nice if we go humans, but I don't even know if we have humans, so we'll just do that. And we have two more uh, blueprints to pick from anyway, so this is fine. So, trappers camp for meat, herb garden for herbs and roots, and small farm for vegetables and grain. I'm leaning toward grain this time. I'm hoping we get some dang farmable soil. Provisioner for flour. You know, if we're going for the grain thing, flour makes sense. Cookhouse. We already have the other one for biscuits, so I'm thinking we'll do flour. Alright, so, so far not too bad, if I may say so myself. Okay, so we'll just, um... I don't know, make some roads here? Yes. No. Okay. And I definitely want to build the harvester camps first. Woodcutter camps, okay. And I can build three. That's actually not such a bad idea. What's it going to take to build a farm, by the way? Oh, the, I'm not sure why, but a farm counts as food? I'll go with it. Okay, I don't really see any uh, arable soil, so you know, that's fine. Um, in fact, I don't think I've ever, yeah, we got farm field. Um, once we cut into somewhere, maybe we can do this. So hang on, let me just go ahead and up the priority on these, because I would like them sooner rather than later. All right, and go, and one half. Are we doing... The harder difficulty, I think we're like on Pioneer, That that's it. I'm getting much better about not saying um. Thank you, Josh Strife Hayes. Okay, so let's see here. I want to cut into some safe glades. And maybe this dangerous one, too. We got time. No one's mad at me yet. They're a little mad at me already. We only have one guy doing work. That's okay. I don't like how little space I have here. But I don't... I also don't want to... You know, I want two roads. So we're not doing that. You know what? That's okay. This will just be kind of odd looking. Uh... That'll be fine. That'll be just fine. What do we got? Ah, my orders. Funding the expedition. So we just turn in some planks. Or we complete two events. Which will give us tools. And planks. But I really like the small parts. Which I don't use often enough. To really show off how good they are. I think... We'll just do events. More glades. Oh, well, that's happening. I don't need that as much. Rebuild or salvage ruins. We get better... Okay, I, I like permanent upgrades. Or, you know, semi-permanent. Because once we leave this settlement, it's gone. 
and turn in an ancient tablet or sell 15 amber worth of goods. Get 10 of your amber back with some oil. I think I might want food sooner actually and then we'll go for the wild... You know, maybe I'll just leave this one as it is. I don't have to pick right now. There are times when you'll have to pick right now, but one of these is not one of those times. Okay, and we got one guy working on the settlements. Or not settlements, but the... Oh wait, no we don't. I don't have all my beavers being put to their full use. Alright. Now we have one guy. Who are the lucky three who get to live in a house of... Uh, I'm assuming... Mostly beavers, yeah. yeah. And yeah, they do have names. And yeah, this does link up to... Twitch streaming or whatever to uh, add names of your subscribers or whatever. That's cool. I don't know. Cult of the Lambs seem to start something that everyone wants in on now. Well, okay, seem to start. I, I don't mean that it definitely was the first one ever to do this. Find farmland. I need it. Please. Also, it couldn't hurt to explore. Ooh, Forbidden Glade. So they can get super dangerous. The crown sends a warning about this glade. It's very dangerous and requires a lot of resources to explore, but will contain great amounts of treasure. So, that's worth it, but don't dig into it until I have... some advanced materials, I bet. Like, a whole bunch of tools. I can just imagine getting a super dangerous glade event that'll kill everybody unless I throw 20 tools at it and I have zero tools on me. That sort of thing. Blight rot. Oh, that's right, we're actually at uh, difficulty higher, uh, so Blight Rot. Expected Hearth Corruption Rate, click to go to the Blight Rot post. Hold Shift and click to open the encyclopedia. Okay, let's do that. So, Blight Rot and Corruption. I'm just reading this real quick. If I remember correctly, though, um, what it's about is it actually makes your production faster but it can also get you killed yeah so i don't know like work like a smoke break at work so i'll see about that we we actually start the game knowing how to build a blight rot post blight post which in my opinion is both combination Firefighter and Ghostbuster in a way because you know they, they build like these little backpack things with flamethrowers on them. It's pretty cool. Oh, I have to choose my cornerstones. Metallurgic proficiency or biscuit diet. I want the biscuit diet to increase the farm yields because I'm going for biscuits. Yeah, okay. Veterans of the game might know that biscuit diet is like the worst cornerstone you can pick. But I don't know that, so I'm just going to go with it. Is there something I can have you build while we're waiting? I think we'll just build a stone cutter camp. And then when we find stones... Oh, here we go. Speaking of things that can get us all killed. Stores everything within a 10 field radius. Oh, okay. And we'll require planks or bricks and some form of stormwater to tear down. Or I can use small parts and pottery that I don't have. This is a problem. <laughs> this is a problem. Oh, wait, that's the rewards. These are rewards, okay. What is this? What can they do? I kind of want to fix this. I'll see. Hang on, let's set it down to one times speed. And this is just a monolith born in the blight storm. She will climb the red mountain. The fire beneath her feet shall hiss her name. It counts as two decorations of its type. It can be moved for free. Right there. I don't know what to say. Can I get planks and water soon enough? Let's have a look. Hydrant. Well, that's cool, but I'm looking more for a 
rain collector, I think. Oh, here comes the storm. Is this the storm that we will be against, though? I don't know. I don't. I don't think we can collect water if. Uh... Yeah, I need geyser pumps or something. Okay, so we might just let this go off and destroy everything. Uh, I'd really like to save some of that stone, though. So you know, we'll move this over here, which is dumb, I will admit. And we'll put Mr. Lizard on it. And we have Creeping Shadows. Uh, I didn't discover any glades during this, so this is fine. You guys go ahead and uh, avoid glades for me. You know what? You too, just to be sure. And we will go ahead and cut these trees. Okay, so what else can I do? Uh, I don't see any farmable land, that's okay. I'm just going to check again, just in case I, I do have some sort of a water collector thing. That's not how it works, okay. What I need to do is finish some orders. And I can do these anytime, that's why I'm putting it off. Complete two events. Is this an event? It should count as one, honestly. I wouldn't mind getting this, but I need stone. Stone which I actually can't get from here. Yeah, let me look around. Cool. Can I do this? I just need wood and clay, and hey, you know, I'm, I'm getting that. Or I can go for tinker. I would not mind having a tinker. That makes tools. So I need planks and bricks, but I just don't have the blueprint. To, oh, wait. No, there's no planks there. There's planks there. Okay, so let's just go ahead and do this. Gonna move you over here, which is partially in the way of getting destroyed, but that's okay. It's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Provisional small crude workstation. We'll just put this right here. But I need wood. Okay. Which we're getting plenty of. Mostly. Okay, you guys look like you're interested in some glades, so let's move you away from the dangerous ones. You can go ahead and discover glades now, I don't mind. We only have four minutes left. Okay, if I were to do this right now, it would take a minute and a half. I just don't have any bricks. Right? No bricks. No bricks. Okay, so what if I tear it down, then? Okay. Uh, I have newcomers. Hey, guess who, guess who just signed up for a mission? A very important mission. I want the small parts. So, the three musketeers here are going to be a candy bar and uh, salvage this tinkerer. I, I really wish I could save it. I really do. But, this thing's going to blow, and that's kind of my fault for, you know, opening the glade so soon. I got to take into consideration, though, that it's not just the teardown. It's also the bring back stuff. Hey, I get tools out of this. Choose a cornerstone. Right, I can do that. Lost supplies. An unusual amount of supplies can be found in some glades. Gain 40 meat and 40 grain for each completed dangerous or forbidden glade event. Um, I like resolve and movement speed, especially in cases like these. Okay, you guys just go ahead and salvage that. Maybe look up how it was made, you know, see if there's like some sort of a blueprint, maybe? Okay. 
how much time we got when I, when there's like two minutes left what I want to do is I'm going to move this away and this away and hopefully no one will be nearby when it explodes and we'll get to watch it explode that's be cool speaking of I'm just gonna move that there it counts as a decoration actually I put it behind because nothing's going behind this for a while I'm guessing we're gonna want some more houses hang on what's this gonna take flax field it's gonna take a harvest camp can I make those I can't okay so let's go ahead and gather ye flax Oh, the crude workstation's finally getting worked on. All right, everything but pipes, please. Okay, how much time we have? A minute forty-two seconds. How much clay is it going to take out? All of it. It says everything, so I'm assuming that means everything. All right, guys, uh, or guy, lizard man, lizard lady. Possibly. Everyone, get away from there, please. And you are now allowed to open glades. Okay, that'll be a minute away. It'll be an awesome surprise. Okay, so you get to work there, and so do you. Go ahead and make me some planks and bricks so this doesn't happen again. Goodbye, abandoned cash. Stonecutter's camp has no deposits nearby. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Right? Is there something else you can work on? No? Well, you know, then don't. Don't do anything. Go ahead and... I'm thinking about having you make me some houses, actually. So we'll do this one. And this one. And we got a cornerstone? No, we got a new order to turn in. Okay, good. This will give me a, a blueprint, I think. Yes. Plantation. Berries and plant fiber. Roots and herbs. Herbs, berries, and mushrooms. I don't know. Okay, so this uses farm fields. I guess we'll go with this. Not a huge fan of it, but it is what it is. 20 seconds left. Is there anyone? Oh, what is this? Root deposits. Oh, this is going to hurt a lot, actually. Is it also going to destroy the trees? This I want to watch. I got 10 seconds left. Let's not look. It's too dangerous. Hang on. I got I got T to watch this with. And boom. Oh, cool. It uncovered a dangerous glade for me. All right. <laughs> What's going to happen? Old tales talk of horrific, bloodthirsty apparitions emerging from beyond dark gates kills 10 random villagers. We only have 13 minutes to save my whole village worth of people. Okay, I can seal it off. I just need to use my wildfire essence to do so. Minus 8 to everyone's resolve. And the hostility will be so much worse. Okay, so maybe tomorrow we can do that. I would not mind getting some ancient tablets and scrolls out of the deal, though. Can I use anything except incense, which I don't have? And, well, okay, there's a forbidden ritual. Horrific sacrifices are offered to the creatures trapped beneath the ancient seals. Pray, maybe this will keep them resting a while, little while longer. Pray this never reaches Queen's ears. Kills one random villager. Activates every time work on the corresponding glade event is started. The effect won't be reversed once work is stopped. So, we're going to sacrifice someone to get scrolls and... Yeah. I need incense if I'm going to do that. Okay, so hang on. Let's let's maybe look at making a trading post. Can I move this? For free, I can. Okay. Let me think about this. I need a trading post. I'm going to move this over that way. As soon as he's done with these planks. Oh. 
And my clay is gone. And one of those is gone. Oh, there's uh, some sea marrow. Hang on. I think we're at a dangerous enough spot that I'm happy with what speed I have. Okay, so over there. And it's quite possible that I might lose people. Wait, I need one person at least to build the trading post, so you, I, you can't have both my lizards. Do I know how to make one? Yes. Uh, right. I keep forgetting things I'm doing. Two times, please. Okay, go ahead and just make the cloth. And then don't get too attached to what you're going to do next, because I'm not going to let you finish it. There. Okay. And now we can build the trading post. Right where you're standing, actually. You see all that scaffolding that appeared out of nowhere? Yeah, just go ahead and uh, build that. And don't question how I had such powers to begin with. All right. He gets to... Oh, hey, it tells me what he's doing. He is not happy about the hostility. And I don't blame him. Okay, it only takes 10 wood. That's good. And we don't have anyone doing this. Do I need clay that badly? And the answer is... Eh, kind of. You know what? I am getting rid of this road. It just disappeared out of nowhere. No one questions it. Okay, hang on. Let me prioritize some of this wood. There. So Hilda's here. Alright, what you got? Well, biscuit recipes. Foragers camp. I just don't have any amber is the problem. Mold supply. I don't know. I just don't know. What were we looking at? We were looking at incense, right? Okay, so incense is not happening through the merchant. I'm going to slow it down. So we're definitely going to seal it off, I think. I just really need to make my lizards a bit happier, which unfortunately will not happen through living space because, dang it, they already have living space. So what I'm leaning toward, what I was leaning toward was hopefully making some sort of skewers or jerky or something, but I just don't see that. Okay. Sorry, Sir Hilda. I wish I had something for you, but I just don't. How's my orders coming along? Well, let's pick this one. Let's sell some things. I don't like the idea of selling too much wood, but I really want this order done. Okay, and then, what is this, like 12 ambers? Exactly 12, okay, that's a that's a great trade, actually. I just won't have enough amber for any of these things, but that's okay. I, I just want some yeah. trade. Yeah. How's that? That's better, and I got 10 amber in, on top of it, yes. I didn't, I, I don't actually give my amber away, I, I sold for it, so, yay, go me. And if I really want to, I can go right back to the trading post with my newfound amber and buy these things. Buy one of these things. Grain, roots, vegetables. There. I hit it before I thought too much on it. Okay, we got one glade event completed. We don't have any rocks to break this open with. We have, do have tools, though. So you know what? You go do this. Lizard's resolve is low. 
and high hostility. Okay, so no, that's way too informal. You say hello hostility. Okay, so if I were an Oscar Meyer Wiener. There we go. Okay, that, that works. That lowered the hostility just enough. But man, is it close. We're also low on wood, so I don't really want to do this too long. Okay, Harvester's Camp. Who did I just set to man something? Hang on, I got, I got an alt key and I'm not afraid to use it. Oh, that's right. I have you opening this. I'll tell you what, Beaver, go take care of it, and then I can, well, I shouldn't interrupt the investigation. You will worry about flax later, it's okay. Blueprint. Kiln, Weaver, Lumber Mill. Lumber Mill? I can make even scrolls. But the Weaver, I can make fabric and training gear and trade goods. I don't know. I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. Takes planks, which hey, guess what I have. So we'll just go ahead and weave her around here. And I will cut these trees because they're in the way. And I think we're at a point where we can reassign most beavers. Oh no, we got high hostility again. I know the lizard's always low. I should have set them to investigate this. At least we'll get some amber out of it. Okay, who wants to weave some things? Do we even have plant fiber? We don't. So, this is an exercise in futility. But the lizards will be happy that we're making training gear. I don't know, they, they like that sort of thing. There's a. Oh, right. This thing. We gotta make sure it doesn't kill everybody. Okay, so how do we make the lizards just a bit happier? Because they are not gonna like this uh, minus eight thing going on here. Ignore I said that. Because that's. Oh, it's seven. Choose a cornerstone. Okay. Gladly. Grain bag. Specialized grain farming techniques. Grain production increases by plus one. Or if we're making some sort of insects and we can get some free pigment. I'm going all grain all the way. Maybe I can like sell a whole bunch of grain to the trading post. You know, that, that's a thought. Okay, so... Do we have... That's going to be nine minutes. That's not going to do it. But hey, we get... Oh, we can't avoid lizards, guys. Leather, mushrooms, reeds, and mushrooms. Really, we're just getting more beavers this way. So I'll go with it. Okay, so... Why are you... Oh, because there's no, no one to live there now. Okay, hang on. I want to evict you. How do I do that? I guess we don't. Okay. Um, can I build? No. Oh. Let's just move this over here. And then we can move, build a couple of shelters right here. And that should do it. How much time is this going to take anyway? Oh, we got to get we got to get going. Got to get going. Um Okay, so here's my plan. We peeve off the queen just a bit. Call Dorg over. We hope to heck that he has skewers or jerky, which will be enough to make the lizards happy on top of the houses that are getting built. We have some free labor, so it's okay to do this. Uh, let's not assign a lizard to do this, though, in case it actually makes them upset. 
they need to bring over the wildfire essence. So we're just going to go ahead and... Oh. Um, do this one, please. Jorg's here. And he has... Why did you go down 12? Is it the hostility thing? It's probably the hostility thing. In fact, the beavers are mad. Okay, hang on. Hold on a sec. I just need to see what they like. Jerky, skewers, pickled goods, brawling, and religion. And pies. Yes. Do you have pies? You have skewers, okay. So we will buy 20 of these bad boys in exchange for my not wood. I'm not going to do it. What do you have? Seed pouch, sharpsicles, cookhouse. Uh, yeah, this is probably the right choice. Okay. We will make it a 0.4 thing in his favor, but we will get a free biscuit out of it. <laughs> Order 20 skewers and get a free biscuit. Hatapata to you too. Okay, so maybe the lizards will be happy now. No beavers are homeless. I, I can't help you. Guess who's going to be really unhappy if this goes off, though, guys? Go on, guess. Okay, so it's going to take three and a half minutes to seal off. It takes a while to get down to the negative numbers, at least. Maybe when things hit clearance, we'll be a little better. I don't know. What's funny, though, is that you can have a, a, a lizard working like in an actual sewer or something, and that's the worst job imaginable. And you can have, like, all the other lizards just dancing in a gallivanting prairie of meat or something that they would enjoy and it would average out to be your lizards are happy none of them leave even the one in the sewer is like well at least my kin are happy I think that's funny okay right I need to gather ye flask hang on uh we got an extra beaver let's get some extra uh, I'm gonna harvest wood but avoid glades for a while. Please. And just go ahead and harvest, you know, all this stuff. Beaver resolve is low. Really? You don't say. I don't mean to be sarcastic. Sarcasm is not a very great trait to have. Okay, we're going to lose a lizard and a beaver. At least. But. And here's the good thing. What do you mean that's only giving you plus two? Where was that? Oh, I can favor them. That would... Nah, it wouldn't be worth it. I'm sorry, it just would not be worth it. But hey, we're sealing it off. No, we're, we're not going to lose ten people. That's the important thing. Bye, beaver. A beaver builder left. Why didn't I invest in cannibalism? I'm kidding. I, I won't do that. Uh, let's get some more clay. Oh, hang on. No more clay. Let's go for this stuff. You know why? Because I did not shed this off, but you can actually um, intentionally sacrifice stuff you have, like sea marrow, and that will make the glade events go faster. Or you can sacrifice the oil for a little more production speed. Oh, a lizard left. Or you can sacrifice coal to lower hostility. Don't have any of that. Or I can sacrifice a bit more wood and reduce hostility as well. Do I do that? It wouldn't lower the hostility level, so I don't think we do. How many lizards do I have? I have three. Why aren't you happy? Get happy, lizards. Well, the good news is that we're almost done with this. We're going to lose that lizard. I'm, I'm fine with it. I'm not fine with it, fine with it, but it is what it is. Yes, let me prioritize these. As much as like the other things too that you're looking at, like over here, I, I want these out of the way. A lizard stone cutter left. Do you take the stone with him? Is my question. 
Oh boy, Beaver Resolve is low. That's okay. It's okay. What's this? Left click the other side. Oh, I can just click this. And I have new orders. Well, an old order that I already took care of. Yay. Okay, hang on. Before I click that, let me have a look at what I get to choose. I can make coats with all that fabric I'm making. I'm really tempted for carpenter, not just for planks, but also for tools. Tools are just great. We're going for tools. Coats are great if you're trying to focus on human happiness. Okay, hang on. Hang on. How much time we got left? 19 seconds. Okay, I'm going to do something kind of dumb. We're going to favor the beavers. Just so we don't lose one. Yes, that'll put us in danger of losing humans and lizards, but hey, we were already in danger of losing lizards. And as soon as this is over, which is in five seconds, then I can turn this off. It has a six second cooldown. It's worth it, though. Okay. Everyone's back to happy again. It's sealed off. We didn't even have to sacrifice anybody. How often does that happen in a Captain Thief video? Not often. Oh, cool. You're almost done with that one. Okay. Unfortunate, but we lost some beeves. We'll live. We lost some lizards. And now that that's done, uh, what did we get for, for the, from that? Aside from no one dying. Wasn't there something else? Yeah, we got, like, Queen's Favor for it. Which means... Another blueprint. Brickyard for bricks, pottery, jerky... Cook house. Give me a sec. So we got the bakery. That's biscuits and pie. Cookhouse is like the other th the things that the bakery is not. Skewers and pigment. That didn't just happen. No, it's just reminding me about blueprint. Okay. I'm leaning toward smokehouse. No, pick that other one. Uh, feel free to leave comments. I I'm fine with. I'm fine with it. I actually kind of want to play some uh, Fire Emblem, and I wouldn't even mind if people told me exactly what I did wrong. Uh, it's just, you know, don't expect me to <laughs> improve too quickly. Not that I'm spotting you or not listening to you or whatever, it's just, that's just who I am. Alright, so I have this issue where I keep getting these really nice blueprints and then not doing them. Could you chop this tree for me? Is it? It's out of the way. Hang on. Mm, something like that. Okay, please get that tree. And we have Weaver. Let's go ahead and make fabric. Now that we're actually getting some flax, I wouldn't mind some training gear either. Let's turn off pack of trade goods. Lizard and Beaver are unhappy. High hostility. Let's just lower the hostility just a smidge. There we go. Now everyone's back to happy-ish. Looming darkness is minus four resolve. Discovering new blades will get you unhappy. Okay, we're, we're good. We're good. More of that stuff. Not just for whatever's going on here the sea marrow, but also for the stone, and sometimes you get ancient tablets, who knew? Oh, uh, orders, right. Uh, deliver two tablets, or cut through two dangerous glades. That's just gonna happen. Uh, so I'm thinking about going with this one. Free tools while we're at it. Build a blight post and make 30 blight thingies. I think we might just do that. Yes. And we have more orders. Uh, okay, so we got cut through two dangerous glades at the same time. I'm gonna be funny with this. Wait. We turn in. Yeah, we have to deliver the ancient tablets that way. Have at least 15 harmony decorations.
I'm gonna go with that one and hope hopefully it won't come back to haunt me. We'll see. Can I can I prioritize that tree? Yeah, actually I could if I like unselected all the other trees. So we have a forbidden and a dangerous. Here's what I'm thinking. And it may not be Arby's. But we probably don't want to do the Forbidden Glade. We want to do the Dangerous Glade and another Dangerous Glade. And I, I wouldn't mind doing that, so hang on. Can I put you over here? And put another beaver on there. And just cut in here. Cut all this wood while we're at it, yes. Excellent. Okay, so why aren't I being productive? We have cloth coming along. Fabric, if you will. Uh, stop reminding me of my failures. Oh, she's a cornerstone. Thank you for reminding me of that. More houses. That'll prevent people from being homeless, but I also like villager speed and resolve. I'm sorry, it's just that important. Cut that tree. Okay, you, you, you're asking for it. Stop cutting that. Cut that. No broccoli till you finish your tree. I'm watching. Low on food. Okay, so hang on. Isn't this farmland? It is. Okay, hang on. So now I can build. Newcomers are waiting. Right, more mouths to feed. Hey, vegetables. Who likes vegetables? Everybody does now. And still, no one's homeless. So now we can build a, a farm. Grain. Yes. So we'll just go ahead and do this. And we will grab humans from wherever we happen to assign them and we will assign both humans here come on faster I only have so much time to seed okay that's good and that's good alright cool you're human huh ever work a farm before no well you're gonna that's how I imagine the conversation goes. What's this? Small forager's camp. Okay, so let's go ahead and build that too. That'll get us some food. Food's a good idea. Uh, didn't I build a cookhouse? No, I have access to it. Smokehouse, bakery. Let's make biscuits. In the bakery, right next to the weaver. You're making training gear. I don't hate that, because there were some things that required training gear. Yeah, I can open these with training gear. What? What's that mean? What does it take? It takes stone and planks, okay. We'll go with it. We'll go with it, and then we'll open these and get free amber. Also, did someone come by? Not for a while. There's more merchants, by the way. I just haven't unlocked them yet. Okay. So, and I'm playing this very safe. I'm, I'm sorry if it, it's a little boring. Okay, who wants to go gather ye foods? Risky Expedition. Okay, so I just want to get as close to this one as I can. Get as close to this one as I can. Okay, we're, we're actually on, on good terms there. But let's not open it until tomorrow's drizzle season. Next year's drizzle season. Tell you what. Oh. Oh. Breaking it open will require tool training things. Okay, so I'll tell you what. Until I know for sure, let's uh, stop making training gear. Yeah, okay, I guess you can make the current ones you're making. 
And if I see something I like, then we have training gear to break these open with. You get fabric. Okay, that's nice. How about this one? T 12 training gears. Steel shovels, files of pigment. Low on food. It's okay. We have a bakery now. I need flour. I need to make a provisioner. Hang on. Let's see. So Hilda's here. Okay, hang on. Be right with you. Okay, let's buy some food. Oh, I got an ancient tablet. See, it, it pays off. If we're low on food, that means we ate all of our meat sticks, right? Right. And I only have six amber. I would really like more coats. We're doing good to wood now. So, let's do the dumb thing and sell most of it. For... Flour. Aren't we really close to make, getting some flour though? Yeah, let's just do 10 flour. And the rest will be... Amber. And I don't think we have any herbs for making biscuits with. So I'll do this. 0.15 favoring Sahilo, that's fine. It never favors me. Good. Wait. How much does that cost? Just 10? I need one more amber, okay? I want these. And... Gee, I wonder where all my wood keeps going. We really need to find out this wood embezzlement problem yeah. right quickly. There. Now I'm broke again. Okay, so now that this is done, they don't have anything to harvest. I think I can just go ahead and send them home because there's nothing for them to do. Okay, so how about... Well, these guys are doing good. Wait, are you better? Yes, yes you are. Yeah. Okay. Sorry, lizards, but you know, humes all the way. Yeah, nah. yeah. I don't know why I clicked on Sahild, okay? I just did. Alrighty, so we have the bakery. We have no herbs. Are these herbs? These are not herbs. Learn something new every day. What else can we do? Berries and roots. Okay. You're picking roots, aren't you? Yes. Why can't I use roots? Because we're eating them all. Okay, so what I can do is look at my next order. Need for luxury fulfilled. Or building a temple and making a whole bunch of scrolls. I'll give that one some thought. And by that I mean I won't think about it much at all. Lawn food. We're fine. We're not fine. Provisioner. Get that built. Now we can make flour out of our grain. That we're getting a little bit out of, but we're, we're going to get more grain soon. Okay, so we need roots. Oh, right. What I was saying was... I can go here... Oh, okay, we have to upgrade it. So, normally I can actually upgrade or go to consumption and tell them to stop eating roots because I'm saving them for biscuits. And they will stop eating them, which is great, but uh, I don't have that ability just yet. That's okay. We have a provisioner. Let's turn off barrels for now until we know for sure what we're doing. And I never know what I'm doing. Doing good on planks. Oh, and I need to make a carpenter. That thing I'm almost certain I already made. Didn't I? Hang on, give me a sec. I'll let the storm come in, I don't even care. It's a carpenter, okay, yeah, it tells me I have none. I love that. Thank you so much for having a little thing that tells me when I've built something or not.
Okay, that'll do. Everyone unhappy? Yeah, actually they are. Okay, you can cut that wood. You, however, can stop. Okay, we're we're back to zero. That counts for something, right? Okay, so you're still harvesting. When it gets like close to you know, food still, Harvest Camp has nothing nearby. Uh, right. What do you harvest? That stuff? Okay. Yeah, go up here. Okay. Hang on, I got an idea. Uh, let's go ahead and burn some wood. There we go. Okay, that'll keep them in the green for a bit. It is burning a lot of wood, though. So... Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the warmth because it's over. Okay, now let's fire you. Oh, wait. Hang on. Go ahead and pick that real quick. Okay. And then put you on the farm. And you picked your last route. Because you're going back to the farm. Haven't even hit the red yet. Alright. And... Now we can have lizards on there. And you know what? Yeah. That. Our resolve is really low now. Stop with the hostility, Viceroy. To which I say, okay, I guess. Who likes working the bakery? Isn't it lizards? Hang on. I have to have extra lizards somewhere, right? Oh, wait, I have, uh, reinforced tools. I could use more stuff made at the small farm, believe it or not. Oh! And I, if I make pies, then I get jerky. Let's do that one instead. Do I have newcomers? Uh, two minutes. Okay. And uh, it's time to break into these things. Fell all trees. You also fell all trees. In fact, we'll move you right over here, just so you have something more to chew on when you're done with that, I guess. And you, too. Okay, they should hit those at roughly the same time you're planting, that's good. We have no one making stuff. Please make me some flour. I don't have anyone making biscuits. And people keep eating the roots before I even get there. Oh, there we go. Okay, so... Who... Who do I have working on stuff I don't need right now? You. You're now a biscuit maker. Congrats. Oh, in fact, you're you're done too. Uh, we don't need the crude workstation as much anymore. We're, we're making this. No luxury goods, though. Thanks. Okay. Speaking of, how are we doing on terms of planks? We have a few planks. Okay, I thought we had a lot more planks than that. I'm not sure where all my planks are going. But soon. Soon, newcomers. And by soon, I mean right now. More lizards, or... Or more... Well... I like coats. So there we go. Okay, we have more people to work on stuff. Good. Um, you over there. Oh wait, no. You don't go there. You go there. And you go there. And for bakery... See, the lizards like it. And he's making pies, so I'm not going to interrupt that. I don't know what happens if I interrupt making something. Maybe like all the meat just goes away. Or whatever they're using to make it. Okay, should be better now. Uh, speaking of, I heard a glade open. 
Totem of Denial. I can burn it down. We'll get tea, scrolls, and mushrooms for our act of violence. We'll just get one impatience point if we don't do this. And heavy clouds are gathering around the sacrifice zone. The totem's duration is increased by 100% while drizzle and clearance seasons are decreased by 50%. Okay, so while we're working on this, time moves faster in the good times and time moves slower in the bad times. Okay, so we can perform a ritual. Fishmen hate fire and will do anything in their power to extinguish every last flame in the world. Blocks the ability to sacrifice goods in the hearth is active only when the corresponding glade is being worked on. And I can use training equipment. Hey, it comes in use. What do I get for this? Repurposed fishman magic can be very helpful, but let's hope we don't suffer the same fate as the priestess Isabel. Grants a global resolve bonus counts as four decorations of its type. Well, that's kind of nice. NGL. I'll just, I really don't look forward to having a shorter time span. And on top of that, we can't sacrifice sea marrow to make it go faster because we can't sacrifice while this is going on. But at the same time, we're going to get impatience points out the face if we don't work on this. So, well, whether we burn it down or, you know, convert it. Well, okay, I could burn it down and burn it down quicker with the sea marrow. That's true. Okay. All right. Wait, actually, this is just one Dangerous Glade. Speaking of... Okay, once we get the other Dangerous Glade, then we'll have a better idea as to what's going on. Uh, I will... Do that. Please try to get into that Glade. You have permission to go into Glades, you should do it. Low on food. Are we still on low on food, though? I don't think we are. Okay, we got Jorg on the way. We have stuff being gathered, that's good. Let's keep making biscuits, please. And pie. I like the pie. I really like the pie, actually. Don't, don't make pottery until I know for sure I need it. I can't chance them not getting in there sooner, so I'm going to really prioritize some trees. Anything else back here? I'm not working on that until I know for sure. Do we have more farmland? Let me find out. Um, it would kind of highlight it, I think, so I, I don't think so. Okay. Come on. Cut that open. I have a minute 31 seconds left, so you know, I'm fairly confident that you guys know how to cut into that tree. And yay, they're harvesting the stuff now, yay. Can I tell it to prioritize? Yeah, I can tell it to prioritize grain or vegetables. I will keep it vegetables in the grain though, because I don't know what I'm doing. And I can just only hope the game will somewhat hold my hand through this. Okay, we don't have any blight rock coming through. I don't know why that is. I do have an order to build one though. And make some stuff. And this is one that I haven't decided yet. Okay. Okay. One half times, please. I really want you to cut into that before storm season, though. If you could do that for me, that would be great. How are we looking wood-wise? Good. I might stop cutting wood throughout the night. If I hit this, do I, is there a button that will... Um, okay, so I can right-click it to put... Okay, okay. Good. 
I'm just answering my own questions. Okay, so that order is done. Which is good because the impatience is really starting to build up. Boom. And boom. Looking better for me. Kiln, brewery, and tavern. Wasn't there something I needed to do? Build a temple and deliver 50 scrolls. Or deliver 60 luxury goods. I think that one's more likely to happen if I build, if I get a tavern. That's luxury, yes? Yes. Okay. Hopefully, I chose right. I'm prepared to find out that I definitely did not. Oh, there's the rain collector. Ha 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 ha. New threat, ancient shrine. Oh, right, right. Gotta look at these things. Thanks for reminding me. Slow this down a bit. The storm in the ruins of the great civilization can have great, grave consequences. Kills five random villagers. And do I have enough tools? For, I do have enough tools for this. I can excavate it. There is no problem here. It's not going to kill anybody while I'm working on it. Okay. Alright. Go team Hugh Lizard. Or I can loot it. No, I don't, I don't need more hostility right now. Not right now. How much time do we have left? Well, this is just an impatience point. It's not... Th oh, wait. Oh, wait. This is not while I'm working on it. This is... Oh. Okay, so this is not while I'm working on it. It happens forever. Okay, so let, let's let's get this out of the way. Four minutes, three seconds. Gotta do it now. Um, who's... Who's who, who do I not need doing stuff? I need food. I need wood for now. Okay, as soon as student storm hits, I think we can just fire a lot of wood cutters. All wood cutters. And have two of them work on this. In fact, I'm gonna do that right now. You guys are you guys look like you're having you have stuff doing, so I'm, I'm not gonna do you yet. Hang on. You too, actually. Hang on. Alright, he's done. And that lowered my hostility a bit, thank you. You're done. Okay, and now we have two for this. Hooray. Okay. Can't sacrifice? That's okay. We'll just perform the ritual. The one that doesn't sacrifice anybody. My humans are happy. Why is that? Why are you so happy? What what's gotten into you? Eggs. Do I have the ability to make a small trapper's camp? I do, and I have meat as well. Okay. Well, that's definitely something I want to do. That's kind of far away. Is there a medium trapper's camp? Correction, is there a medium trapper's camp that I have access to? we got 40 seconds till Jorg. Oh wait, maybe he has a, a medium trapper's camp for sale. Uh, hang on, let me pause this. No contact. Harsh weather conditions make an impossible reach the Citadel gaining reputation doesn't lower impatience. Okay, so don't finish any orders while that's going on. Right. Okay, so we're going to build a tavern and do that one. Let me have a... Oh. We are... Without contact. Okay. Yes. Alright. Lizard resolve is low. Beaver resolve is low. Anyone homeless? Just one beaver. So, if we build a house... I bet you that might help the beaver situation. What do you like to do? They enjoy engineering. Well, carpenter is kind of engineering. Okay, one sec. Okay, so... Right there. Just build me a house right there. It'll be out of place and out of shape, but it will be right there. You got, you got jerky. 
Apparently they don't... Oh, they do care for pie. Yes, yes. Need skewers, though. Which I don't have the ability to make, unfortunately. Blight, rot, and corruption. Yeah, I read that before. Don't know why that's coming up now. High hostility. Okay, so maybe if I lower the hostility... Fire all woodworkers. There. I've solved the problem. <sighs> yes. Thank you for getting that taken care of. This will give me some global resolve. Because I just need to right click to assign one new. Right. I am one worker woodworker away from things going south, so I gotta be careful about that. But I can tell to I can tell you guys to cut these trees. And I guess we can cut into this glade. Yes. Choose a blueprint. Oh, thanks. Lumber mill, clothier. I want the clothier. Done. You will notice that some of these buildings have a particular style to them. The beaver house kind of looks like these carpenters. Uh, what was made, the cloth here actually looks like a fourth race that we haven't encountered yet. That looks like their house. And the lizard houses look like the bakery. I kind of like that. It kind of shows that there's like some attachment to races or whatever um, for certain things. Okay. Alright. And we are back in business. Trader arrived, Jorg. He's got an herb garden. Other than that, I... I don't know. More grain supply. Rich in fiber. Gain additional fiber plants every yield. I'll tell you what, I'll go for that. I like fiber. What do I have that you would want? Oh, we are out of wood. Wood went fast. Okay. Is this the dumbest thing ever done? Yes. But it's fiber, guys. Okay, so what is this? Specialization bonus cloth. You make make coats. Please. Are you guys done with this yet? I'm getting there. Okay, I guess we're just gonna make a uh, meat trapper camp. Go for it. And cornerstone. Ancient pact. The cost of knowledge can be very high. You can see the content of undiscovered glades, but discovering dungeons or forbidden glades kills one villager. Calming the forest. One who lives in harmony with himself lives in harmony with all. Every glade event solved by making the decision marks empathy lowers hostility by minus 40. Uh, that won't help me right now, but maybe it'll help me in the future. Okay, good. I have humans on here. My fear is taking them off during the storm and not putting them back when it's time to plant the seed. It's not a very, you know, rational fear, but it's a fear nonetheless. Eh, yeah, I'm cutting into this dangerous glade. I, I want it. Okay, so you guys are idle because we are out of grain. Can you do barrels, maybe? Crystallized dew. I'm gonna save my crystallized dew. We have we have some things. I just don't want to unassign you from here because the the fiber will come real quick. Hopefully. Are we doing good, better on wood, by the way? Yes. Where was it earlier? Or did all the wood just come back? Or maybe Jorg just doesn't buy wood. I don't know. 
All right. What's this? Moss broccoli patch large. Uh, my small forager camp cannot do that. But nothing else can. So yeah. It takes a while when you're carrying stuff all the way from back here, so, you know, let's understand. In fact, it would have been smarter to just build it right here and then move it for free. Yeah, okay. Will this make anyone homeless? Probably. I'm going for roots and stones. I'm not sure what the stones will be really good for, but hey. I'm just thinking, considering options. Oh, we got some berries here. Oh, we got some berries here. I need I need something that can pick big things. Oh yeah, now we have now we have homeless. Okay, so hang on. Yes. And I wish I could tell it to build a house here as soon as this is gone, but no. You can't always get what you want, I guess. Now what can I do we do blah 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 blah? What can we do from here? We have enough tools. Also, why didn't I build a tavern? You guys are making coats. That'll make humans happy. I guess we should really pick this one. Just so that we have it out of the way now. And I want to make pottery. Because in order to serve and make me some pottery. In order to serve stuff at a tavern, you need pottery. Tavern, there we go. We have everything we need for it. There we go. Okay, anyone we can staff here? Yes. Lizazels. And it's doing good. That's really good. That's going to be kind of silly to think about, but you know, maybe a road that makes them go a little bit faster will make them go a little bit faster. Keep with me now. It's it's a crazy idea, but it might just work. And now we're harvesting the grain, so now we should be able to make a lot of biscuits when we're not on coffee break. Uh, oh wait, make flour, and then we can make biscuits. I don't think we'll ever get a good source of copper, so I don't know if barrels is happening, sorry. Okay. I'll just go ahead and cut this. And if I want, I can swap things over. You know, we'll we'll flip the uh we'll flip the perspective cuz I feel like I'm avoiding things to the south of me. It's just kind of an assumption, like in RTS maps, that there's nothing to the south. You're always at the bottom of the map. Or maybe this will just help. Okay, so here we go. And we got two... Two, uh... Two beavers back. Which means... Yes. I know you're hostile. Alright, so... Plus three to global resolve. Okay, that's making everyone slightly happier. And it counts as a decoration. Let's go ahead and build some decorations. Uh, counts as four decorations of this type. Okay, we'll build a park right here. Looks more like some sort of a weird garden, but you know, you do you. Do you have permission to cut a glades? You do. You're just kind of taking your time doing it, is all. All right. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. Wait. What's recipes? Oh, okay. I can see what buildings I have that make me good coats or good fabric. Okay, I like that. Oh, and I can tell it to only make so many. Well, maybe I only want to make so many planks. Never go above 30 planks. 45 planks. I have no idea where these numbers are coming from. I'm just making them up. Uh, 
All right. So speaking of pies, do we have? I'm gonna enable meat and insects and eggs. And do we have an extra lizard? You go ahead and make me that pottery, and then I'll switch you out, okay? I wish I could have him switch it out while he's making the pottery, but oh well. I'm really hoping that the uh, update that I did to the drivers fixed my computer crashing issue. Hang on, I'll be right back. I just want to see. There's bricks here. Do I have anything else that can make bricks? Hang on. Bricks. No? I mean, it, it says zero. Is that because no one's doing it? No planks, no fabric, just bricks. Make me some bricks. Thanks. Okay, so... Wait, is that how it works, though? Bricks. No, it's still zero, so... Is the crude thing so bad that it has zero stars? I'm afraid so. Alright. So let's see. I'll tell you what we're going to do. As much as I'm tempted to just fire one all at once because it's funny, I'm going to fire them gradually as they are not doing anything. Okay, lowering hostility. Check. Okay, you guys are good. You guys are good. And almost done with this one. Okay. So I can lower hostility a bit by burning extra wood. Speaking of, let me see my wood. 4 and 12. Okay, cool. As soon as the storm starts, I will burn extra wood. Oh, come on. You, you, you guys can harvest faster than that. I know you can. What happened? Oh, it just sinks right in the ground. Okay. While well, he's bringing back the grain, uh, let's lower hostility. Boom. I feel smart. Okay, so that burns longer. I should have switched to human. That would have lowered the impatience build. And I think that lizard just makes everyone less stressed. Okay, so... Fine. Fine, fine, fine. Whatever. Burn stuff longer. I'm fine with it. Um, yeah, you can even see like a little cool little dome of fire going on there. I like that. this? Oh, what was this? Oh. So we need ale. Do we have ale? Where can we make ale? We need to make a brewery, right? Tavern. I guess it's technically possible I can just buy ale from a trader. You know, we might lose this one. Don't mean to freak everyone out. Let's build our uh, blight post. Maybe that'll cheer things up a bit. Okay, so we'll just put this here. I'm not sure why. It just seems like the thing to do. We only have two homeless, and they're both lizards. And I did not fire my humans because I don't have anything for Yeah, let's go ahead and send this home. Send this back to the Citadel. How are we doing in terms of tools? Five left. Is that five left or is that five not spoken for? Five, five. We need one more tool. 
because we have five right here and they're carrying five each that's 15 and they need 16 don't we have yes we have carpenter yeah go ahead and make tools out of crystallized do I'm I'm fine with it go ahead and use blanks if you need to okay and stop burning the extra wood thank you much I may or may not want you in my room. It's up to you to decide. The happy lizard. All right. The happy lizards. Okay. Keep on carpenting. We have a cornerstone. <sighs> Regardless of which one I pick, I'm getting something from death. Oh, I guess I could have rerolled. Do I even have amber? No, I spent it all. Okay. You guys are making tools, right? That could just takes a minute. Scouts are idle in the large abandoned cache. Not for long or not. Okay, well, for a while they are. Go ahead and just do that. That's working out. I don't know if I really want to commit to more going on up here, because I mean they're they're doing good. Oh, this one's too far to count. So go ahead and finish this bricks, buddy, and then I'm gonna move you away. How's this coming along? Need porridge and leisure. <laughs> it says... Okay, it doesn't tell me how long it's taking. I thought for a minute there that it said 0.27 minutes or something. Yay, you made bricks. Okay. We'll move you over here and... Oh wait, I kind of want you back on there to make bricks. Okay, now we'll move this over here. There we go. Now, no one's homeless. For now. But I haven't been... Okay, the lizards are happy enough. We're low on food. I might favor the lizards if we fall out of the blue. I really need some blue right now. I need blue in my life. Okay, so... This one we're going to assign you guys... Go ahead and make me some purging fire. Feel free to use sea marrow if you really need to, because I need to keep some of my wood. I have newcomers. I really want biscuits. How's the bakery? Were we low? Yeah, we were very low on herbs. So, good call on me. How are we doing in terms of... Hmm. Need roots or something. Who gathers roots? You. You're gathering roots. Gather faster, dang it. Tavern. What does this do? Plus three to global resolve. I like that. Ahem. Did I say you could stop being blue? Oh, Sahilda's here. Luminous. Just to get us... Well, we're about to harvest. That said... Oh, I need, I need one tool. Well, we got a tool on the way, don't we? One sec, Sahi. Okay, so... We'll put you back on there. And hopefully they... We have a, we have a tool, right? Hi. 
How much for one? Two. Just ten. And in exchange, I need these. You can have a ton of wood. Captain, this is the worst idea you've ever had. Uh, is there something? Well, I could give stone. I actually have a lot of stone. I don't want to give too much stone, but I can give stone. <sighs> 0 0.05 favoring you. That's okay by me, I guess. Oh, and what's this? Plantation. Forager's camp. I just don't have enough. Let's do this trade first. If I sold all of my stone, I could get like maybe 12, 11 amber out of this. I'd need eight amber from somewhere else. Heavy millstone. I don't want to sell all my stone though. I don't know why, but I need it. Okay. I need it. I don't know why why I need it, but I need it. Okay, we're getting this done. Someone's bringing the one tool they need. What was that? Blood flower. A deadly carry-on organism that feeds on decaying matter. It spreads through contaminated rainwater and multiplies with time, becoming more and more dangerous. Blood flowers are a source of extremely rare resources. Okay, so... Minus three to global resolve if we don't take care of this right away. And there will be more of them. But while we're working on it, our food will decay. Which, you know, is kind of bad because we, we're doing pretty good on the food situation. But hey, now we'll have planting crops 30% faster and water skins. Well, we gotta get this taken care of or we're gonna just, you know, lose. So... Well, we have four minutes. I'll do it. Alright. Make my food go away. Whatever. And as soon as you're not blue, remind me not to favor you. Speaking of... Do I have orders to turn on yet? Working on it. Working on it. Working on it. Do I have sea marrow up here still? Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so we still have a chance to get some ancient tablets. Low on food, not surprising. But hey, once that sea th that blood flower is gone, you'll thank me. Oh, and we have a fine smith. What does it do? Can rebuild it. Can make amber. What? Make tools. Oh, I want to do that. That's so easy. Everyone go rebuild it for me. I really want an expert tool maker. I guess then we can sell it to stop making that. Why? Because I'm... Ah, oh, so hill is gone. Dang it! Okay, hang on. You're out of things to do. You are very out of things to do. Okay, well, I guess you guys are done with that, because I just can't harvest anything right now. Yes, stay blue. I really need... Whatever this, this is. Okay, keep making the blight posts. Or whatever, purging fires. I really need that done. Constructing this. And are we getting wood? You know, I think I fired everyone from making wood. No? No, they're, they're wooden. Okay, good. Uh, it's always tricky to know when is the best time to move the wood cutting thing. 
And you know what? I think we're just going to do it. Yeah, that probably reset what they were doing. It'll work out in the end. I hope. Okay, they're set to fell all trees. Within range, of course. Keep it up. We're so close to another blueprint, which I will probably need for grain or something. And then we can get the ale thing out of the way. And then we'll have more farmage. Tavern. Lizards will raise everyone's spirits, especially their own. Okay, good. So, oh cool, can't move. We can make amber out of resin and clearance water or oil. How long does that take? 42 seconds. We can make tools. Kind of. I don't have the ability to get copper. There's a way to make mines, but uh, I guess we haven't unlocked it yet. Wait, can't you harvest that? Yes, yes you can. So we'll put you there, and then we will have you both do that, I guess. We're almost done with this. We don't have to worry about our food disappearing anymore as much. Okay, no more favor for you. Maybe we'll just favor humans. Oh, right. Can't switch that quick. Are you level... One? Yes. Okay. Well, I... It wouldn't hurt to make one of those water catcher things. Rain collector. I'm not intentionally avoiding rain collectors, by the way, or the rain mechanics. It's just I don't know how they work. Go ahead and hide this, and this. And we're doing good on coats. It just takes a long time to make them is all. Lizard resolve is very low. Okay, how about now? That's better. But not perfect. Okay, so you guys like engineering, right? It's going to collect storm water. Do I want storm water? Type collective ring depends on the season has a tank capacity of 50. Okay, so maybe I build a second one. And I don't know, we'll just put it here. This takes planks and parts, it's fine. Um, so there's like, you get storm water during a storm, and you get drizzle water during a drizzle. Who can use water? I don't... Effects... Okay. Do I know how to use water? I don't think I know how to use water. I just know that I need water for making amber. Okay, so... I'm not going to sign anyone there yet. And the flower's gone, so yay. Bleeding Tooth Mushroom. I could have sworn I told it to... Oh wait, that's carbon, not the woodworker. How are we doing on wood? Okay. So, clearance water. Uh, and on that note, no, actually. Because we don't have any clearance water to use. And I'm not going to use my oil. I don't know if I'll need that for a, a danger thing. Okay, back to work, everybody. If I right-click this, 
Okay, I think it, it has preference for beavers. Okay, let's favor the lizards again. Okay, so... Oh, okay. I see. So we can actually get like a bunch of water of every type and... Okay. So we actually have three things up here. I thought like this one would hold all my storm water, this one would hold all my clearance water or something like that. Let's just go ahead and fill up on drizzle water and stuff. Drill oh, down. Grain delivery, I really want that. I know the clay might be helpful. Oh boy. Herb garden. Use nearby farm fields, spruce, roots, and herbs. I wish I could re-roll this. Because I really don't need these. There's no option to re-roll. If I had to pick one, I guess we would go with... We need something that can make scrolls, right? Be right back. Scrolls, scrolls, scrolls. Oh yeah, I'm literally scrolling. Okay, so we have one one star scroll thing, so I don't really need something that can make scrolls that badly. Oh, but here's orders done. Yeah, turn that in, get all the food in the world. And we're almost done with this one too. I, It's feeling close. Building materials, pack of crops. I think we'll go for this just so we get better pies and tools. Yep. Oh, the other one had ale and stuff. Well, whatever. I'm, I'm fine with how we're doing this. Deliver 250 wood and 30 packs of provisions. Yeah, okay. We'll do that. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to pick our blueprint, which will be this one. The provisioner has been great for flour. Small trapper's camp is done with meat. Good job, guys. You did it, Leon. Sorry. I was watching my older brother play Resident Evil 4 randomized and I was just kind of pointing out in my head how kind of ridiculous the whole thing was and when he's done with the whole mission or whatever she's just like you did it Leon it's like she didn't ask for like a report she didn't ask for a sit rep she's okay all right fine Hunnigan whatever okay so if I can get one more order turned in I can get I really want to make the humans happy. I get the feeling that they'll get me my next set of blue. We'll have plenty of clearance water. Well, okay, clearance water. It's going to take a lot of clearance water to make any amber. I didn't think about that until now. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, well, here's what we can do. Uh... We need the trader to come back, buy a bunch of tools from him, or copper maybe. Uh, they are out of things to do because I. They're out of wood? Is that the issue? Idling. We can't be out of wood. Yeah, we have plenty of wood. Okay, so maybe they're just on their coffee break. I, I don't know what's up with them. Uh, we got more of them coming, though, so... Bricks and coats. Parts, pipes, and insects. Uh, let's pick the one with less bugs. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and get me lots of water. I'm hoping that's the right choice. No guarantees. Yeah, make me some planks, and you know what, tools, 
Oh wait, no tools. No beaver, actually. We will put you guys here. And I will hope to get something from Jorg. Oh wow, the humans are happy on their own. Good. We are earning 0.19 per minute. What if I made them even happier, though? Can I get this even better? 0.20. Okay, so it actually does scale. It's not just, I'm blue. That makes me, you know, happy. Period. Okay, how are we doing on terms of tools? Six tools. Okay, so I can turn that in. I'll do it. It's just 0.5, but... 0.5 is alive. Yeah, harvest that, please. And are you done? You are done. Okay, so guys, you're all fired from this. Why? Because I don't want to spend my wood and hard-earned sea marrow on that. Yes. Okay, so hey, we get more of it anyway. Boom. We got another blueprint. Okay, so I need to make packs of provisions. Um, the provisioner, of course. Oh no. Okay. I just need a lot of things I just don't have. Make me lot. Give me lots of eggs, please. Okay, we're getting clearance water, which means that, yeah, they'll, they'll start making amber. Let's prioritize tools, though. Just make amber whenever you feel like it, not all the dang time. And is anyone homeless? Yeah, we have actually a ton of homeless. Temple. That was one of my things. That was one of my options. Okay, so it's not an option anymore. Okay, so, human house. Why? Because beavers are hard to please. And sorry, but if you make yourself hard to please, that makes me hard to want to please you. Whatever I'm trying to say. Let's see. Can I move you over here? The kids will tell scary stories about it. And we'll just go ahead and put this... Here, 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 here. And all my humans will be happy. Er. I think we might be able to pull this off. Maybe. Yes. Build, build, build. Crude workstation. We're out of clay, right? Yes. Well, okay then. No, we're, we're just, like, completely out of clay. Hang on, maybe I can find some more. There it is. But then that loses my ability to get the ancient tablets, which I don't need anymore, because I just turned those in, I forgot. Okay. No blades. No plugins. What are you guys chopping? Are you, like... Warcraft 3 wisps and you're just, you know, harvesting wood from living trees without chopping them, or what? You're clearly getting wood. Um, if I wanted all your tools... Wait, if I wanted all your copper... I could have it, because you have none. No crystallized do either. Okay, so... Here's what I'm thinking... Oh, wow, you really want a lot for your tools. Hang on, so the first one costs 2.31. And the last one costs 2.31. I think my math is adding up there. I can just buy a 0.5 of a thing. I can also use 20. Yeah, that, that actually kind of works, actually. Done. I don't know how many tools can or how how many how much can I get for ten? 
four. And he doesn't buy wood. And coats are actually kind of cheap to him. My sea marrow, the, wow, I am rich in sea marrow. I didn't think I'd ever say that. Okay. Well, hang on. Let's go like a whole bunch of it. Boom. Yes. Okay. So that will do for that. And we got 15 Lucky tools out of the deal. Which is great because now I can start sending some of these things home to the Citadel. Here's a 12er. No, a 16er. Do I even have 16? I do not. Will I have 16? Maybe if you guys feel like making two all right, the copper bars. Well, we have 15 tools. Is there a. There's a 10. I can get 0.75. Let's go for it. Things are getting scary. What's this? Beneficial agreement. Yeah, okay. And. I just really need the. I just really need to get to 13.25. Which is a whole minute of blue humans. Go ahead and take this out of context and show it to somebody and see if they can figure out what I'm talking about. Bye, Jorg. Uh, we have really happy humans. Okay, we're getting there. The resolve is ultra low. Hang on. I'll fix that. The only way I know how. Small forager's camp has no deposits nearby. Well. Let's see if we can fix that. Alright. We fixed it by making them unemployed. You know what's hilarious about this whole thing? Is... I'm going to leave the settlement eventually. And they're just going to have to deal with what comes around. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how else to put it. Okay, it's not fair the humans are not blue anymore. And they will not Dabu D or Dabu Da. doing plowing okay so I guess plowing is important they plow during the storm okay so I have to have them on there full time it's an herbalist camp I have an herbalist camp I have an herbalist camp well that might have helped earlier but you know you know me let's just move that over there I'm sure someone had to work on a Saturday to move that very heavy camp way far away from town, but, you know, as long as it makes Viceroy Captain Thief happy, it did make Viceroy Captain Thief happy, but, you know, it was a very small thing for me, but I made you do a very large thing, and I apologize. Okay, so, we're just getting the provisions done at, of course, the Provisioner. Um... Keep making flour, that's important. That's built. We can get humans on there. You know, I like to think that it's not always the same beavers cutting trees. They, like, kind of take shifts on these sorts of things. And now that I've, you know, fired you effectively, let's go ahead and move you. And you, too, a little closer. All right, cool. Does it make sense to favor humans again? It always makes sense to favor humans. Wait, we're almost done. How am I getting reputation? I thought everyone was not happy. Oh, this game, I don't understand it sometimes. Gain two amber every... I... Sure. 
I'm about to win. Sort of? Hmm. Every full reputation point you earn lowers in patience. Okay, so even if I earn reputation some other way... Oh, come on. Get happy. You know you want to. I wish I had a brewery. That would make the humans even happier. Alright. So we got water. Drizzle water. Nothing to really spend it on. Um, alt. Control? Nothing in here really tells me what uses what kind of rainwater, so... Yeah, you guys keep making amber, I'm fine with that. Oh, I was so close to being done. Um... Well, we're almost done. We're just making provisions, that's all. Maybe... I was gonna say, maybe we could, like, use rainwater to make this go faster, but... Yeah. What are you using, anyway? Okay, we get, need we need more eggs. I hope we have enough eggs. Got some eggs, got some eggs, got some eggs. Surprise child. Yep, there is a way that we can get a permanent thing going, by the way, where we have the farm growing grains and vegetables and the vegetables being fed to a farm that grows meat animals. So that's kind of cool. Uh, provisioner. Let's go ahead and say, use anything to make a provision. I need these provisions because my humans aren't happy. And the beavers aren't going to get any happier. Let's stop favoring them for a sec. And by for a sec, I mean 60 sec because that's how long it takes. What do we got? Newcomers? With coats? Hey, that'll make humans happy. Don't they all have coats, though? Don't you only need one coat each, or do you guys, like, go through your coats really quick? Now my head cannon is spinning up some sort of a weird thing where, like, you put on a coat from this game, from this world, and it feels amazing, like... As soon as, like, you're... You it touches your skin, you're completely dry and warm or whatever, even if you were, like, completely soaking and cold earlier. But the coat work lasts for, like, six hours and then just falls apart or something like that. And that's why humans like it so much, because they don't have, they're not cold-blooded or they have fur or whatever. Okay. Yeah, thank you, Imagination. Much appreciated. Go ahead and make me look weird to the whole audience. I don't mind. I'm lost. I'm lost on what to do. Because I don't have enough tools to finish the job. I don't want to call Sahilda because we're so close to that. Do we have biscuits? Yes. We have plenty of human houses. We have no pie. What is your problem, pie maker? Well, they're making pie. Okay, so... I'll favor humans again as soon as the pie is ready. That makes sense, right? This need is required is fulfilled at the hearth. So you guys just eat at the hearth? Is that how this works? Let's burn wood. That'll lower everyone, lower the hostility and maybe make them happier. I don't know. Wait, isn't there? Production speed, hostility, sure, um, I swear, I, I, I thought we were close to done, okay, just one more bag of provisions, and it's almost here, okay, triple that, whoosh, and then you guys are on your own for this storm that's about to bust right through you. Oh, it actually has to be delivered. Hang on. Right? No one's 
eating the bags of provisions, are they? I mean, I know they're full of provisions, but they're not to provision you. They're to provision me. Okay. I'm a little confused. Wait. Can I force delivery? Storage is empty. Well, where's my provisions? You're making provisions. Ah, oh, boy. Okay, well, the humans are definitely not happy. Let's fire every woodcutter that ever lived. Wow. Okay, that went... Yeah. No contact. Oh, right. I definitely need to lower hostility in some way. How about now? I can only go so low, Captain. Well, I don't know. I definitely need to not be stormed though while this is going on, or I'm gonna turn in this thing. Yeah, don't don't turn it in yet, Cap. Because then it won't give me the reputation. Maybe. Maybe it will. It seems to promise it will. Wait. Oh wait, I, I still get reputation, I just don't lower the impatience, right? Gaining reputation does not lower impatience. Well, what do you do? I, I'm i fine with that. Thank you. Uh, okay, cool. 140 XP. Level 3, I gained some new blueprints. New Citadel upgrades. Scribe. Really good at making scrolls. And ale. When you need beer, you go to the local library, guys. And tools. Cellar for making wine. Paved road, which is made of stone, which is 15% speed. Got a new... Merchant. Uh, I really like this cornerstone. You just get three barrels every time you make ten planks. I'm not sure how that works because you normally need metal for uh, barrels. What with the hoops? That's what a cooper or a hooper is, by the way, is a barrel maker. And trade logs. Okay. Very good. And I got some seal fragments while we're at it. Okay. I don't need to continue the settlement. Can I buy upgrades yet? No deaths. Win a game with zero villagers dying. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Win a game on something or another. Okay, can I go here? Because I really want to... Oh, I can indeed buy upgrades. So hang on. Deeds are, are important because they get you free EXP. And free EXP is free leveling. Yay! 50 EXP. Win a game in the rural woodlands biome on settler difficulty or higher. Hooray. Okay, so I leveled up again. Another citadel upgrade is available. I got a guild house, a clan hall, distillery, filling dish. I could have sworn I saw this one before. Rebellious spirit. So, you know, was, was, the more impatient she is, the more resolve they have. That's interesting. And safe haven. Okay. I'm going to get a lot of EXP from these deeds. Which is both a great thing and also kind of a bad thing because I'm going to unlock 30 different buildings and I'll be like, hmm, what did that do again? Win a game on Pioneer difficulty or higher. So I now have pipes. What are they made of? Wood, I think. Rolling in wealth. Trade good worth of 200 amber. Yes. Win a game with at least 40 villagers. I got lamps. No deaths. Win a game with zero villagers dying. I Got me more EXP. Yay, I unlocked the Harpy race. Harpies are a noble and fragile species, yet with the primal aggressive side, they excel at alchemy and love to work with cloth. Okay, so that's how you know. Smelter, copper bars. Bathhouse. Yeah, see, the purple buildings are kind of harpy themed. Cooperage for making barrels. What did I tell you? Economic migration. Urban planning. Okay, so we're just going to get, like, a ton of levels. Pipe ending. What did I get that for? Win a game on veteran difficulty or higher. Win a game without completing any camp events. No strangers. I don't remember doing that one. Win a game with at least five ancient tablets in the warehouse. Oh, now I can make the big shelter. Okay, that's really helpful. I think instead of holding three, it holds six. It might be slightly more efficient with space. 
Slightly. Only slightly. Win three games. Working on it. Win a game after discovering a forbidden glade before the end of year two on Pioneer difficulty or higher. I had to do that. It was required. Okay, so anyway, now that we've done that, we have 114 bread loaves to spend. Uh, everlasting flames. More embarkation bonus, yes. Alright. Oh, this feels good. This feels really good. Every villager in your settlement gets a permanent plus two percent increase in their walking speed. Oh, that's nice. But let me think. You gain a permanent minus two percent speed to the, which the queen's impatient grows. Can I buy this one? I can. Okay, so these uh, anyone that's up this high or and that's starting the string or whatever, I could just do it. Unless I need machinery, I guess. Okay, let me read some more of these. Everlasting Flames, again, cornerstone, cornerstone Pool Increase. You have one additional option to choose from when picking Cornerstones at the beginning of each year. I want. Unforeseen Riches, you gain a permanent plus 1% boost to the chance of obtaining bonus production yields. I'll have even more newcomers, or I have the option of choosing newcomers. What was the one that gave me... 10% more resources. Okay, so it's only an occasional thing. Consumption control? Give me. I can tell them to stop eating my precious, precious things now. Reputation picks pool increase when you have one additional option to choose from when choosing blueprints as a reputation reward. I really like the idea of that. I like the idea of all of them, actually. You can upgrade your hearths to the neighborhood level production speed. 3% bonus to trader arrival speed. I can establish trade routes. That's kind of an important one. I will get into that sooner or later. Not important enough. Also, I need to buy this one first. You gain plus one embarkation points to spend on resources. Okay, so that's an extra point and 2% walking speed. Gathering technique, all resource nodes get a permanent plus one to available charges. And I will always start with human house. Okay. Oh. I need machinery. How do I get machinery? Show me. Do that one. Oh, wait. We still have 12 more, so I can spend it on this cool all right so as you can see the town is kind of coming along together I really love that by the way desktop dungeons did it uh, darkest dungeon did it I'm fairly certain any game with the word dungeon might have something to do with it oh yeah uh, rogue legacy really sort of did it but we're building the town as we buy upgrades and I love it uh, we only get food from doing settlements, though. I can't just get a whole bunch of deeds done. Was that... Was that the one I just did? Maybe. I mean, it is connected to that one. Okay, so Sabul and Elam. I swear you get to name these at some point. What's this? Blades have an increased chance of including fertile soil. Scarlet Orchard. This land is too far away from your last established town for your caravan to reach it. So... We actually have to be within some distance of this one. But I think I can get, be as far away from the town as I want, and it won't like make me not able to retreat or whatever. So, yeah, I can put my settlement right here, for instance, but then the food, I don't get as much food from it. So, if anything, I would probably want it to be like right here. And we have four embarkation bonuses now, so we can bring, like, more villagers if I really wanted to. I could bring stone. How come this takes two points? Can I can I bring half of it for one point? No? Okay. We will focus on being human. We will take some stone. We will take some... Extra newcomers. And some extra wood. Yes. Do I feel like 
boosting it up to Viceroy yet. Soon. With some more upgrades, yeah. Yeah, I would. But not right now. Why am I starting this right now? I don't know. It kind of made sense at the time. Okay, additional effects. We can actually look at the bad things that happen when we get more storm threats. Oh boy. Okay, so one reason to bring stone with you, by the way, and I'm going to save and quit here soon, is now we have paved roads, but it takes stone to do it. Excuse me? Oh! I assume these are my harpies and my lizard, Lizaldos. Lizalfos. Humans just look like, I don't know, some sort of a, a shelled armadillo thing. I don't know. I'm fine with it. Okay, cool. Well, that will have to be for it for now. Stone roads are really great. I think I'll just make them like the artery of my town or something. We'll, we'll see. And, oh, hey, hang on. Let's go and read these. Hostility and Forest Mysteries. Welcome to New Villagers Raises Hostility. Oh boy. Building hearths lowers hostility. I remember that. Or letting the queen's impatience grow. That's interesting. Okay. Not going to read it all. That's spoilers. <laughs> you idiot, Captain. Sacrificing. Okay, so we already went over sacrifices. Trade routes. Got that. Uh, you can build, set up a trade route with your previous things. And now I can tell them to stop eating my roots. Okay. Good. I can choose blueprints. Now I can choose from four blueprints, but I only get one choice still. But hey, choosing from four is a lot better than choosing from three. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Save and quit. Thank you so much for watching, guys. This has been Captain Thief playing against the storm. I'm having a lot of fun. Um, it's hard, though. Gosh, I have no idea how uh, how some people play this with such hard difficulties, but maybe they have a better idea of how this works than I do. And, hey, my computer didn't crash this time, so hooray, even without an air conditioner on. And, well, to be fair, it's not actually that warm. In fact, it's raining. That actually made me want to play against this one. So, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.